Um, most of my research focuses on subnational politics. I uh, investigate political institutions at the state and local level. And the main research question is, are those institutions open to the inclusion of folks who've been freely left out, uh, mostly African Americans, women, and, and Latinos? That's the question that drives me. We have a system, right, in which people were left out by law and by custom and practice. Uh, and the system hasn't changed that much, but now we have people who are trying to get in who have been let in. And my main question is, how well can those folks be incorporated into our political system and into our society? Yeah, there's an interesting intersection between political science and African and African American studies. If we look at the uh, contemporary political scene, uh, much of the debate, many of the issues and problems relate very much to race, ethnicity, and issues of difference. You look at social inequalities, uh, you look at mass incarceration, political representation. Uh, these issues for most of our history uh, have been, for all of our history, uh, have been tied up with matters of race and diversity. So there's a nice synergy and intersection with my work in as a political scientist and my work as a scholar of African and African American studies. Yes, the diversity that the students bring to the classroom in terms of their uh, disciplinary interests uh, is important for us as uh, scholars of African and African American studies. And it means we have a more lively discussion. Uh, that the students come, you have economic students who learn about a particular topic from that perspective in conversation with political scientists, sociologists, and folks who study religion and philosophy. Uh, it makes for a much more livelier conversation and uh, I think a, an environment that's more conducive to learning. That there are multiple ways of approaching any given problem. Uh, and that's what I get in the classroom with an African American studies uh, class. Those diverse perspectives coming together uh, thinking about the same problem or set of problems. Well, what can you do with a degree in African and African American studies is unlimited. Uh, it's one of the most versatile majors that we have at the university. And what I like about the AAAS major is that it touches on all aspects of human existence. Uh, in the department, for example, we have a geneticist, a political scientist, economist, someone who teaches dance. Uh, so we do culture, uh, the humanities, the social sciences, and the, the natural sciences. All of those areas are related to the subject matter of African and African American studies. Uh, what's most beneficial to me being affiliated with African and African American studies is the range of uh, colleagues that I uh, get to interact with. Uh, I, you know, sit down and have conversations with my colleagues who teach literature. And I learn some politics from those discussions. Uh, my colleagues who are historians, are important uh, touchstones for me in the work that I do to get, give me a sense that uh, there's a, a long history and context for some of the topics I'm interested in. Uh, so AAAS for me provides a, a place where I have grown uh, as a scholar in terms of the things I think about and more importantly how I think about those things.